Are you looking to add a new puppy to your home and trying to decide what is the best for you? Well, in this video, we take a look at two smaller breeds that could be ideal, the Pomeranian and the English Bulldog. Welcome back to the Fenrir Pomeranian Show. If this is your first time here, my name's Charlie and I'm a certified canine leader here at FenrirCanineLeaders.com. Everything we do here is dedicated to helping you find the perfect breed for you and then helping you become a high level canine leader who can raise the perfect canine companion. If that sounds like you, then make sure you hit the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell to make sure you never miss another upload. So let's dive into today's video where we'll be comparing these two different but beautiful breeds. The modern bulldogs are very different from the dogs of their origin. Their ancestors are traced back to around 31 BC, around the time of the ancient Romans. It's believed that the English bulldogs' ancestors were working dogs, the now extinct Alaunt dogs. They were two types of Alaunt dogs. The English bulldogs that we know today derived from one of these, the bulldog Alaunt. The bulldog Alaunt were described to have been heavy set and wide with a strong jaw and broad mouth. The dogs fought alongside Roman, English and Greek soldiers and were very courageous and loyal to their owners. These dogs were said to have had a high threshold for pain, which made them excellent to use in wars and blood sports. English bulldogs were fine-tuned to be more like the breed we recognise today in the 1600s. They were bred for the dog blood sport bull baiting. Bull baiting involved a bull being tied to a stake with a 30 foot radius to be able to run around in. The bull would have pepper blown up its nose to enrage it. Dogs would then be trained to attack the bull. Thankfully, this cruel and barbaric sport is now illegal in most countries and the practice is not commonly accepted. The exact origins of the various breeds that played a part in creating the Pomeranian are unknown. What we do know is that they were, had ancestors that were large spitz type dogs that were found in Russia, Siberia and other Arctic regions. The Pomeranian as we know them have roots in the region between Poland and Germany called Pomerania. They became incredibly popular all over Europe in the 19th century. The first Pomeranian club was established in 1891. They were particularly popular amongst the socialites of the era. This was in some part influenced by Queen Victoria. They'd made their way to the United Kingdom around the same time that she took the throne. Queen Victoria kept many different breeds of dog, but she particularly loved her Pomeranians. And she actively promoted the breed throughout the country. Interestingly, two Pomeranians were apparently among the only three dogs to survive the sinking of the Titanic. To this day, they remain a popular choice of companion dogs because of their loyal and affectionate nature their small stature and cute expression. The English Bulldog certainly has a strong iconic look and is easily recognised. They have a stocky short body with a very muscular appearance and they stand low to the ground. Their short spines and small rear help protect their backs and spines from injuries made by the bulls throwing the dogs off them. Their wrinkles on their face actually served a purpose during their time at war and bull baiting. The wrinkles meant that blood and sweat would travel through the folds of their skin instead of getting in their eyes, nose and mouth. The English Bulldog has a short muzzle and an underbite. Their jaws helped the English Bulldog grip the ball and their short muzzle stopped their nostrils from getting blocked, allowing them to breathe properly. Their underbite also allowed them to grip the ball better. The English Bulldog has a short coat and they come in many colours, including brindle, red, white fawn, white and variations of them colours together. The colour mill is not an accepted colour in the US or UK. This is because the M gene that creates the mill colour is linked to many health issues within the English Bulldog breed. Piebald is also not accepted colour in the UK Kennel Club, but is accepted in the American Kennel Club. The English Bulldog stands up to 15 inches tall, which is around 38 centimetres, and they can weigh up to 50 pounds or 23 kilograms. Pomeranians are small dogs that boast a thick plush coat. In fact, they have a double coat. They have a long flat outer coat that's harsh to the touch and in contrast to the soft and fluffy undercoat that they have. Their coat has many different colours, in fact the Pomeranian has up to 20 different colour combinations. They have a finely chiselled muzzle which makes their heads look quite large in comparison. Their nose colour usually matches the colour of their coat but their eye rims are usually black. They're known for their tails which are set high and covered in long hair and turns up over their backs. 
The Pomeranian has a short back and compact body that give them a barrel-like look. They are tiny in size and stature, growing to a height of 12 inches or 30 centimeters at the withers and weighing up to seven pounds or three kilograms. The Bulldog, despite its history of being bred for blood sports, is now a lovable family companion for many families. Although a Bulldog does take its job as watchdog seriously and they will defend their family if they feel they're under threat, a Bulldog loves the attention from their owners, which makes them fairly easy to train. Positive reinforcement, calm, consistent leadership and plenty of treats will ensure smooth training. It's advised that with a bulldog, instead of doing training for hours on end, small bursts of training sessions from just five to ten minutes long is more effective as this keeps your dog engaged and stops them from getting bored. A bulldog can, however, sometimes become stubborn. If they're not shown that you are the leader, they could learn unwanted behaviours. It's important that you teach them obedience and manners to prevent this. The Bulldog is an energetic breed that require around 30 to 45 minutes of exercise a day. Many Bulldogs enjoy forms of exercise like daily walks, runs, games of fetch and even water sports like swimming. Just be aware of the weather when you do take them out. Don't take them out on hot days as this can make breathing difficult for them because of their flat faces. Although they're tiny in stature, Pomeranians have a massive personality and are quite extrovert. They usually form a strong bond with only one member of the household. They're an incredibly loyal breed and would ideally suit someone who's used to a breed of this nature. As they make strong bonds with one person, they are not the best choice of dogs for families. They are an intelligent breed and are very quick to learn new things, both good and bad. They are known for liking to get their own way and they will do this if not trained properly from puppyhood. If you do allow them to get their own way, they will show you their stubborn and dominant side of their personality, making them a lot more difficult to handle. To help you combat this, training needs to be firm and consistent. Because they are so intelligent, they can be relatively easy to train, but their stubborn nature will cause them to challenge you. By taking a firm yet fair approach, they will soon understand their place in the pecking order. As we say, early socialisation is important. The Pomeranian has no idea how small they really are and will happily try to confront dogs much bigger than them. Being such a small breed, they only require a short amount of exercise each day. 30 minutes should be more than enough to keep them happy, which is ideal if you only have a short window to dedicate each day to exercise. English Bulldogs are very gentle and loving when around children. They can become protective around children and other members of their family. English Bulldogs are renowned for having a loyal and compassionate nature and this really shows by the fact they're in the top five most popular breeds. English Bulldogs do not fully mature until around three years of age so although they may look muscular, fully grown, mentally they've not fully matured. This means that they'll still act puppyish during this time. English Bulldogs do tend to get on well with other animals despite its past. It's strongly advised that any dog is socialised at puppyhood to different outdoor situations outside of the home. This includes different sights, smells, sounds and people. A well socialised dog is more likely to become a calm, happy and well-rounded dog in adult life. One downside to the breed, however, is they can sometimes have issues with other male dogs. It's generally a good idea to never leave your English Bulldog alone with any children or small pets like cats, as accidents can happen. Overall, the English Bulldog is a polite and well-mannered breed. As we've already touched upon Pomeranians typically clinging to one member of the household, they can be a little snappy, so they wouldn't be recommended for families with small children. If you do have small children, it's vital you keep interaction between your children and your Pomeranians supervised. They're an outgoing and alert breed and have a naturally strong desire to protect. Although they form a close bond with one person of the house, they do still have a bond with others and this encourages their need to be protective. They will get along well with other dogs if they've been well socialised in puppyhood. However, their protective nature can sometimes lead to showing some aggression towards other dogs occasionally. Both the Pomeranian and the English Bulldog are widely loved across the world. They're both very loyal to their families. However, the Pomeranian tends to deeply attach themselves to a singular person of the household, but they will still love the whole family. They are similar in size, but not of stature. Either of these two small breeds would make an excellent canine companion. However, due to their big difference of appearance, it really is a choice of personal preference. 
I hope you enjoyed today's video. If so, make sure you hit that like button and get involved down on the comment section below. And don't forget, if you are new here, to make sure you subscribe. We have two dedicated Pomeranian videos coming here every single week. So I can't wait to talk to you again on the next episode of the Fenrir Pomeranian Show.